name's Greg Price. I started mixing very young. Grew up in Northern California, so I worked at the record plant. My brother's band, Pablo Cruz, gave me my first shot at work. And ever since, it's just been a wonderful experience. I want to think that music is in my blood. My 40th year mixing, and I've, I don't like dropping names, but I've worked with amazing people. I'm always wanting to do something more. So uh, I was out banging on doors to get a better job. And I bothered this one sound company in Texas, and they would not hire me. And then one day they said, now's your chance, Greg. I go, great, who's the artist? Says, well, it's Ozzy. I'm like, what? That was in 1995. And I've worked with him forever, ever since. Somehow, once I started mixing him, it just fit perfectly. My R&B background, married to metal music, somehow worked. <laughs> Robert Scoville came to Claire Brothers with a console. I had heard about the console and I was already mixing on other digital consoles. I spun a mix up in less than five seconds. He showed me how to do it and the like, next thing I know is I had one of the best sounding mixes so quickly and I was hooked from that moment. Very next tour with Ozzy, I had the console and then I hooked Pro Tools up to it, and my whole life changed. That profile changed me as a mixer, and my personal success uh, a thousandfold. Then you get your hands on this. This console, yes, it had familiarity. It has profile mode. So with a push of a button, it's reacting similar to my profile. The workflow on this console is expanded from that console. There are more features on it that really resonate with me. Large track count, it's nothing more than a couple pushes of a button and you're going through layers and layers and layers of all your inputs, just like that. So I'm back to my top page and then this layout mode for me is absolutely essential. It resonates with me on my style of mixing. I like to pre-produce and then put those things away and only stay on top with the really important things. So I've already made up my mind what the drums are supposed to sound like. I never have to go downstairs to look at the drums. I'm always on top because my drums are right there on top with me. My parallel compression is right in front of me at all times. Easy to use, easy to get your head around, enjoyable, but the sound, it's all about the sound. It's, it's like nothing else I've ever mixed on. Hi, I'm Miles Hale, I'm monitor engineer for Black Sabbath. I've been working with Black Sabbath for on and off for 10 years now. I've been working with Greg Price, the front of house engineer, for roughly the same, maybe a little bit longer. And uh, very happy to have the new Avid product out here. It's, uh, it's been amazing. Right out of the box, it was uh, everything sounded great. I had to do a lot less finesse, a lot less tweaking. Everybody was very happy. Everybody noticed the difference on stage instantly. The drum tech and I, we uh, got the drum mix dialed in. And you know, the drum tech's really good at what he does and he's got a great idea what a guy wants to hear. And almost all my EQs were flat to begin with. I mean, except for a couple high pass filters. And me and the drum tech got it knocked down within like 15 minutes. And as soon as the guy came in, he was like, oh my God, what, what changed? These are the same speakers I had, what changed? And I explained to him, I wish I could say I got better, but really it's this new console I'm using. I set out on this project to really get back to the basics of engineering, 
a 1970s legacy band, getting to the heart of their sound. I was gonna start over. I was gonna start from scratch. I was gonna try to put aside all of my preconceived notions and start fresh with fresh new eyes, if you will. I was going to do what I've always taught and create a static mix first of the show before I moved on. It was very difficult for me to continue to add components and artifacts to my mix when I was so happy with the sound and the sonic quality and the, the width of my mix. Usually I'm, I, I'm embarrassed of how my EQs look trying to get it to sound the way I want. And on this one, it literally, I mean, you can see my EQs here, they're almost all flat with a couple, you know, maybe one or two filters in on a couple channels. You guys made my job easier. And that's the key, I think, with awesome audio gears to make me look better than I am. You know I'm famous for Ozzy's vocal chain of plugins and just an array of what I used to call the vocal pyramid. That's not only the chain of plugins to achieve his vocal sound, but it's also an, a pyramid of effects to develop that signature sound that we've always loved about his vocal. Then I got my hands on this console. I have no plugins on his channel. I have a very modest EQ on his channel. Yes, I have put and used the onboard limiter only because when you have a screaming vocal, I need to have a brick wall to stop him from really leaping out past the mix. I use the channel dynamic. And that is all I'm using on Ozzy's vocal. There is no effects. There's no plugins. It's just pure. And I got to tell you, I don't know what's going on because the sound is absolutely stunning. I've never heard his vocal quality ever like this. It sounds like a, a badass analog console, you know, except with all the great user features that come with digital. Now I've got more auxes than I know what to do with. <laughs> you know, I've got spare, spare tech mixes now spun up in case they decide they want it differently. Um, that's very nice. I think that this workflow is a cerebral expansion of what we've been using on Venue Profile. This just takes us to that next very logical, very pragmatic way our minds work and how we want to explore new corners of our minds in mixing. And, and honestly, that's what an engineer does. He or she is, is expressing themselves through the console. But it wasn't until I got this band underneath it, it just, yeah, I'm so happy. <laughs>